Coming back to Kerala, sir, the Wayanad seat. The Congress President uh, Rahul Gandhi is contesting from Wayanad. Could you just decode his candidature for me? <laughs> how, how can I decode? First of all, my only point is what is the message that the Congress wants to give? We are saying defeat the BJP in the interest of the country and the people. Change the policies in the interest of the people into pro-people policies. The Congress has been calling uh, meetings of all the opposition parties at the parliament level, at the outside the parliament level, saying that BJP has to be defeated to save India today, etc., etc. Mm. If that is the objective, what is the signal you are giving or what is the message you are giving by going and fighting from Kerala, mm. where the principal opponent is the left and not the BJP? Mm. So that, that they will have to answer and people will also judge them on that basis. And I'm sure people of Kerala are very, very mature. I've saluted them in 2004, when much to our surprise, everybody's surprise, when it was known that Vajpayee is going to be defeated and an alternate secular government is going to come. And when it was known that alternate secular government minus the Congress will not be there. At that, in that situation, Kerala people did what? They elected 18 out of the 20 MPs from the LDF. The Congress did not get a single seat in Kerala. But they formed the government at the center. But they gave us the seats. Why? The stronger the left when there is an alternate government, the greater the pressure on the government to adopt pro-people policies. And that was absolutely correct. The Rega wouldn't have happened. The right to information wouldn't have happened. The Tribal Forest Rights Act wouldn't have happened. The right to education wouldn't have happened. The right to food security would not have happened. Like this, all these rights that happen. So the stronger the left, stronger the pressure for poor people policies that people will gain. That was the wisdom of the Kerala people and I think that wisdom will be doubly strengthened this time. After what the Congress has done, they will be doubly strengthened this time and therefore, I would be very happy and uh, won't be surprised if instead of 18 out of 20 like last time, we get 20 out of 20 this time. You may not agree, but uh, Mr. Sidharam Echuri was one of the biggest votaries for having a tie-up with Congress, in some way or the other? Not a tie-up, never. Our point tie was... Up. I mean, in some way or the yeah. other. Our point was to maximize the pooling of anti-BJP vote. Correct. That is the word we used in the political resolution, which was unanimously adopted. And I still believe in that. But it's for the Congress to decide what, what they do, what they did in Bengal. When we offered a mutual no contest, they walked off it, walked out of it. Now, this thing happening in Kerala. By all means, fight as a democracy, anybody can fight from anywhere. But what is the message you are giving to the people? And that is the point which the Congress will have to answer. Do you feel betrayed by Iraq? Why? There is no question of betrayal. <laughs> there is a question of approval of betrayal. This one. Every political party in a democracy will take decisions from the basis of their priorities. Yes. So what is the priority of the Congress? Defeating BJP or defeating the left? But their priority can be uh, mop up the maximum number of seats from where the, wherever they can. They are having candidates against your candidates in West Bengal. They are also fighting TDP in Andhra Pradesh, even though Mr. Chandrababu Naidu is with the opposition unity. So they can have their priority like that, as you said earlier. They to mop up the maximum number of seats no, no. because you may, be, you may become relevant, irrelevant after the election. So what is the need to pacify you for that? Then what is your basic priority? Our basic priority is to ensure BJP does not return to government, form the government. Mm -hmm. Congress's priority, if it is to strengthen themselves, even if the BJP comes back, mm -hmm. then they'll have to answer to the people what they're talking. What are they saying you replace this government for? Not they have to, to answer. Left, no? Not to bring in the left, but to actually at least get maximum number of seats for In us. the process, the BJP comes? Okay. But don't you feel... <laughs> Let them answer that question. But don't you feel uh, when Mr. Rahul Gandhi contest in Kerala, it will have an impact in the southern states, at least in Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu, you have an alliance with DMK. Listen, you listen. also are there in that alliance. Listen, listen. And also in Kerala, this impact, I mean, what is happening to the UDF in Kerala is the minority vote is shifting away from UDF. The upper caste vote is shifting away to the BJP. They want to arrest that. For that, they have brought in this. Rahul Gandhi can be... So okay. then say, my priority is my party, not defeat of BJP. Say that. How can you say that my priority is to defeat the BJP and then say that I will work to strengthen my party? 
understand. But what you are arguing is, you should, uh, I mean, no, I am not arguing, I am going by what they are saying. They are saying defeat the BJP. And then they say, they are doing to strengthen themselves. Correct. So what is this, uh, this contradiction? They must explain. Which is your priority? That they have to explain, not us. No, they have said it almost clearly that we want the maximum number of seats. If possible, 20 well, of 20 they in and out, They in and out, they are saying defeat this way, BJP defeat the Modi government. So, Mr. Echuri, the thing is, even uh, the 20 UDF MPs, and if you have, as you are uh, uh, earlier saying that we will get 20, 20 LDF and 20 UDF is the same here. In which Italy. case, whether Rahul contest Vainad or UDF contest, we will still work to defeat the UDF. No? Correct. So, then what, then, then what is the signal you are sending? So, will it, be, will it have an impact in the South India? In, the <coughs> in Karnataka, Andhra, I mean uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. There are around 70-71 uh, uh, seats there altogether. So, will well, it have... You see, that is what is their theory. Correct. Whether that theory works or not, there is a jury is out on that. Mm -hmm. His grandmother did that, mm -hmm. fighting from Chikmangalu. His mother did that, fighting from Bellari. Now he is doing it, fighting from Vayana. Mm. But the grandmother and mother mm. fought from a state where the BJP is strong. Grandmother at that time BJP was not really not the big factor, but the mother's time at least. And it was Sushma Swaraj versus uh, mm. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, that who fought that election there. So the, this time the choice of the seat where the left is the strong, mm -hmm. there is no BJP in that seat, virtually. So there you are going, what is the message you are giving? that they'll have to answer, they'll have to tell the people.